back to Mary Lapperberry. I am Kenny the Maxi Soper, and um, I'm just like, hold on one sec. What I'm going to do is lighten this with some TD first, and then um, I've actually heard that some people put their uh, TD into their oils before they pour their lye. I'm kind of scared to do that, but when I've seen people do it before, it actually turned out really white. But I'm just not brave enough to do that yet, so. <laughs> I'm going to play around with this and as you saw my colors um, which are a little different from what I'm used to doing but that's what I've been doing lately. So I got silver, I got gold, I got teal and my base is going to be, um, where in the hell of it did it go? Oh it's going to be a mauve natural clay but I'm going to put some sparkles um, like sparkle mica in it to give it a little pop because all of these are very sparkly and of course clay isn't. So I'm going to go ahead and mix all that up. But first, before I go, the fragrance that I'm using is, of course, Rustic Essentials Lovely Type. This is a dupe of Sarah Jessica Parker's uh, perfume. Funny enough, uh, I love this perfume. And just so happened the owner of Rustic Essentials does too. So, <laughs> um, I was just so surprised to see that she had this. I had been looking for this for a very long time in a dupe for a fragrance oil. But, um, yeah, so that's what it's going to be scented in. I do love it. I wear the perfume almost every single day. And I have to say, it is spot on to the actual uh, real thing. All right, guys. So, see you in a second. All right, darlings. I'm back. Um, I do like this mauve clay, but I actually had to add a just probably way less than um, a teaspoon of pink because... It was just kind of muted and I wasn't feeling that. So I do like this color. I really do. It's like a, I don't know, like a mauvey, soft, pinky color or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, and two, my mistake is I should have mixed it in oil first. I tried to blend it as much as I could without making my batter thicken up. So now I'm going to get my mold and we will commence the pouring now. And so, I need to get some more tall skinny molds and um, Symphony Craft Home. She was my supplier and now she doesn't sell them anymore because she said it wasn't enough people buying them and they cost too much, which I get, but I am very saddened about it. I know American Mold Supply sells them. I've never tried their molds, but they were the first that I know of to ever come out with tall skinny. So, I'm going to give them a go, see how that works out. So, I like their molds because I just love my tall skinnies. I really do the noise all right so now um yeah i don't know what watch this okay you see how thick that is now i'm going to stir it out and it's going to come right out i don't know why my batters do that see that <laughs> i don't know why they are like that so but it's okay as long as it stirs out no complaints from me and this uh lovely type is absolutely what it's called lovely it is awesome smelling all right so i'm just going to stir these out because I have been playing around with these colors for quite some time, probably 30 minutes now. So I'm just trying to get them right. Oh, and my color inspiration was a pile of scarves. <laughs> I found it on Pinterest and it just kind of spoke to me. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to use it. So I'll go ahead and pour this in. All right. And then the next color I'm going to use is some of this cream. Just kind of break it up. This uh, teal color. Oh, come on, cream. Get yourself in there. And I'm glad that I used um, a fragrance that doesn't discolor because I want it to stay these colors. I really, really do. And next I'm going to use my gold. Nice. Right pretty happy with the colors that I got. I got them spot on to what uh, those scarves colors were. So that's why I was playing around with this for so, oh come on, these big old hunks. Um, it's pretty spot on to the color that I wanted it. I think I just said that. I got distracted by that big chunk that just fell on my soap. Okay, that's annoying. Turn that down. And I'll give this gray stir. This gray is really nice consistency of it. So I'm going to turn this around and don't worry about the sides. I will clean that up, I promise y'all. So if you are new to my channel, hello. 
I'm so fucking happy you found me. And yep, this is exactly how I soap. <laughs> I am pretty messy. So <laughs> but I make it work in the end. Um, I love tall skinny moles, but me trying to do swirl, like swirly pores on a tall skinny. <laughs> yeah. So in here. <laughs> um, but I always end up working out. So no complaints. Um, but yeah, if you are new to my channel, I am so fucking happy you found me. I really, really am. Glad you stopped by. Hope you want to come back and also become a subscriber. When you do, you become a part of my stinking awesome crew, which is my subscribers because they are stinking awesome, really and truly. So, yep, go ahead and hit that button because I would love to see you here and leave me a comment. I love chatting it up with you guys. I really do. And also, um... If you like this mess so far, <laughs> or you trust that this mess is going to turn to something beautiful, go ahead and hit that like button, which is a thumbs up. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Yep, I know this looks scary right now, but I'm digging this color, y'all. I've been trying to get a soap this color forever. So I'm very glad that I got this mauve clay because it is, man, it's awesome. And I just know from the on when I want to soap this color, I'll have to... Um, I'll have to add that little pink just to get it exactly the way I want it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm messy, but Lord, <laughs> this is a little messy even for me. Way messier than what I'm used to doing. And my table's clean, so no worry about me putting it back in the mold, please. <laughs> oh, wow. I just can't believe that I'm, I'm making this big of a mess. This is kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> Wow, Kenny, for real? Chill out, chick. Oh, my goodness gracious. I got more on the darn table in my camera leg than I got in my darn mole. gonna have a nice top because how thick it is when it's thicker better your peaks are nicer in my opinion in my opinion <clears throat> this is a magnificent smelling fragrance <laughs> and I'm just like I've come across a lot of dupes that were like pretty dead on this is one of them definitely one of them Rustic Essentials, you did yourself on this one because I mean it smells just like the perfume. Nothing different. Now, question is, am I gonna swirl this or am I gonna let it be a free form drop swirl? I think I'm gonna let it be as it is, I think. <sighs> yep, not sure. So what I'm going to do is boogie on out of here until this set up a little bit more, clean up a little bit, and then I'll be back. All right, guys. So um, a battery did die on me, but um, I just charged it just long enough to buy me a few minutes of time. So I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and get this texture. It's set up really nicely. Um, so I should have some pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice top on here. That's what I need to start. It's just like a lot of times my my batteries are like super, oh geez, come on, super fluid. So they don't sit up like this, but this one is pretty nice. This is actually how I like them. But I mean, I guess you can't get everything you want because I like um my fluid, my fluid. I like my batter to be fluid just so I can, you know, do many pours, as many pours as I want, different types. And it'll stay that way for quite some time. But the same token... 
Um, yeah, this is actually almost set up a little too much. <laughs> um, yeah, in the same token, I get some pretty cool texture tops. All right. Yeah, this almost set up a little too much. I was trying to wait until my battery charged, but um, I almost waited a little too long. All right, so I'm going to stop playing with this so much. And then um, go ahead and get this glitter on before this battery dies. So, um, I don't even know where my strainer's at. Uh, I'm just all out of sorts today, so I'm about to do it with my fingers. I want a lot of glitter on this soap, a whole lot. Alrighty, because I want this thing to sparkle and shine. I want it to be really feminine. And hopefully, you know, I can work on this top a little bit more because. I'm gonna try. I'm not like super in love with this. These tall peaks on the side, just not. All right, and I'll clean it up in a minute. I'm just trying to make it look a little more feminine. You know what I mean? Just a little bit more feminine. Don't worry about all the sides. I will clean that up. I promise. Leave that alone, Kenny. <laughs> All right, so let's put some more glitter on there. Because I really want this glittered up nicely. So, there we go. Now, hopefully... Oh, I know my battery's flashing. Pull you guys for it for a sec. Yep, it is definitely flashing. Because um, I didn't let that battery charge very long at all. I'm going to show you the top. And that's the next thing I need to do. And I always forget that to buy another battery. <laughs> but I think that's as much time as I'm going to be bought. So show you that quickly. I do really like the colors on this. I think it's going to come out really, really nice. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Glad you guys joined me on this soap making video. There will be a cutting. Be sure to swing by and watch that. And until the next making, well, the cutting. I'll see you over there. Bye. Hi, guys. This is Kenny the Messy Silver over at Royal Appleberry. And... I'm coming with a cutting of my lovely type soap. I don't know what I'm going to name this. And you guys, I think, oh, I didn't put the teal glitter. I don't think I did when I was on video. I can't remember. That was a few days ago. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I do love this. I didn't like the top at first, but I really do like it now. I really need to loosen the arm on this cutter because, good law, you got to lift weight to cut your soap. Oh, yeah. I got more blow holes. Same as last week. Mm -mm. So, I think what I'm going to do here is wait a few more days, but for you, it'll be in a second. Okay, darlings, I am back, and this is, I want to say three days later, because I just felt like I needed to wait on cutting this soap. Oops. I don't know. I've been putting soaps on the shelves and I just keep banging them around. I don't know what's up with me. But, um, I really hope that these are nice and hard on the inside just because, like when you, I notice when I pull, I cut them too soon when they're very soft and I pull them apart. Um, although they may have like the little, um, bubble, air bubbles in them, uh, by them being still soft, it pulls apart and make a lot of, a lot more than it normally would be. And if it was harder, you wouldn't, they wouldn't be as noticeable. So, hopefully, it's been sitting long enough, and it still isn't, I don't get it, but I can smooth these out. It's a little bit firmer than it was, so I'm going to go ahead and um, cut these, because my dehumidifier has been on since I last uh, filmed the first part of this video, but they rub out pretty good. And this smells so wonderful and I love this color and I don't know if you guys can see but you like in the pinky part I did put that sparkle mica in it and you can see it really nicely so very happy about that really do like the way this turned out so we'll continue with the cutting I am stuffed and I didn't really eat much I just drank a lot of different well water and I had like an iced coffee. Now I feel like I'm about to burst. <laughs> but yeah, it's alright. I got two other soaps to cut. And it's a weekday. This is actually Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. 
So, um, I, I actually want to make a soap, but I don't think I'm going to. These swirls are beautiful. This is a very pretty soap. I'm very happy that I decided to go with this color scheme. And like I said, guys, and I've said it many times before, you can draw inspiration from anything because this was literally a pile of scarves. How I came up with these colors for this soap. I'm just like, huh, that would make actually would actually make a pretty soap. So that's how I came up with it. So just look around. It could be in your laundry basket. You guys remember that one soap I made that I <laughs> I did from a sock. <laughs> I was doing laundry and I saw it in my socks and it just I drew inspiration from that. I've done it from blankets, bed sheets, um, Gabe's clothing, sundresses, you know. My garden, of course, you know, like my flowers in my yard, I always draw inspiration from those. So, yeah, inspiration can come from absolutely anything. And I love people watching. And I see some women with beautiful colored dresses on in the summer or even pretty scarves. I'm just like, oh, that'll make a pretty soap. It really will. So, just look around you. Enjoy the scenery. It might be inspired, especially if you have, like, creativity block. And I know, like, um, one of you had suggested, I had said this a long time ago, like, about Design C. I don't know why it is. Um, this is when Celine Blaco was making soap. She got a lot of her uh, color ideas, inspiration from Design C. And um, I tried it. Just nothing comes for me um, from Design C. So I just sit on Google and just kind of search, like, okay, if I want colorful balloons you know I'll type in that or colorful birds or something like that that's where I draw my inspiration from I've tried and tried and tried with design C and I just never feel inspired and they do have beautiful colors and I'm not saying that's going to be the case for you all but it just I never you know I never get it from design C although I do like it and I wish that I could because there are some beautiful colors there but just not for me I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday, and actually for you, it'll be Sunday when you see this video. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Michigan, ugh, it is so blah here. It's like September, what is this, September 7th? And it is like ball freezing cold here. Like It feels like, I think the other day it was like 47 in the morning. <laughs> and it's only been going up to like the low 60s, and it's been kind of chilly i actually had to turn my heat on last night because it was just way too cold in this house and of course gabe griped because he loves cold weather and i said he's nuts but um yeah i'm like okay dude whatever you can sleep in your summer shorts or whatever else you want but i'm getting in my skivvies which <laughs> i call those one piece pajamas not the ones with the feet but <laughs> the one piece pajamas um with the long arms and i even have one with a flap on the butt put those on I call those muscovies I put on thick woolly socks get a couple of blankets I actually had a fur throw on me well synthetic fur throw and um the blanket that Sherry made me my subscriber Sherry I was balled up <laughs> plus the heat was on so yeah I don't do well in cold weather not at all so I'm just like not really ready for summer to go I'm you know I'm ready for fall but it's like summer's not supposed to be gone yet so can you please come back and just hang out for a little bit longer please and thank you so <laughs> if you live in warm weather you are one lucky duck because uh warm it is not here in michigan Alrighty. okay let's see yep i love 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 the colors and these soap and the soap it turned out so nice yeah, those air bubbles are going away pretty nicely. So happy. Because my last soap, mm, guys, well, I don't have to tell you. I wasn't too thrilled about that malarkey. So, <laughs> that was straight up depressing for me. <laughs> so, glad this one. Because it's such a pretty soap. Pretty colors and just all those darn air bubbles. Just mess up your design. Me personally, that's what I think. All right. And so I was actually on Instagram and drew some inspiration from a couple of soaps that I saw. And um, after, ooh, oh, <laughs> told you I don't know what's with me today. I'm just knocking my soaps around like crazy. I'm not putting big dents or anything in them, but just to knock a soap that you just freshly cut is not good. But 
yeah like um after this video next week um yeah i think it'll be next week i don't know when uh i'll be in the time i'm in south carolina you guys of course won't see a video that sunday and this is probably well after because i'm actually going next week so uh, anywho <laughs> after this uh video you'll see um a solid color purple soap and i'm kind of like you know what i'm digging this um solid color soap thing I, like i said before well you <laughs> you guys haven't heard that conversation yet <laughs> but anywho um in my next video i talked about me always liking the solid color soaps was just never want to do them because i like explosions of color and um that was just i don't know it just wasn't for me to do at the time it didn't speak to me but i would see them and just fall in love with them because they are quite pretty so i'm gonna do a couple of more solid color ones i think they're just darling they really really are all right so this is the last cut and if you are new to my channel hello i am so fucking happy you found me thank you for tuning into my channel it is greatly greatly appreciated and for those of you who watch uh rustic essentials um <clears throat> Happy Fall Fragrance Haul. Um, thank you so much. I hope you go over there and get some of those fragrances. They are fucking awesome. Everything Rustic Essential does. Ew, that one's kind of tacky. Everything Rustic Essential does is fucking awesome, I swear. So, I'm just excited to meet so many of you there in South Carolina. Um, this one is going to be even bigger and better than last year. So, um, if you are going, and I know by the time you guys are watching this video, like right now, I will have gone and come back so if i did meet you i'm so happy that i got to meet you and then of course when videos from here i will mention some of the people that i got to meet but i am super duper excited to meet Clyde yoshida of uh vibrant soaps so yeah it's gonna be super duper fun but again thank you for tuning in i am so glad you found me if this is your first time once again thank you for tuning in um i am kenny the messy soaper over at royal appleberry and i post videos weekly I skip a video every blue moon and it'll be um, like when I have something to do or <laughs> um, maybe who knows what the case may be but it's not very often that I don't post a video on Sunday if you would like to become a part of my stinking awesome crew all you have to do is hit that subscribe button it is absolutely free and um, please give this video a thumbs up a like hit that like button if you do like these soaps and these colors that I picked um, it is greatly appreciated. It helps my channel grow and it shows me that you like what I do. So until the next making video, I will see you guys then. Love, hugs, kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. Bye-bye.